Hi, I'm going to show you how to make some annoying music using Esperino on the STM32 F3 Discovery Board. Um, so Esperino is a JavaScript interpreter that uh, runs on this chip here. So I was looking through an um, old PC and I found this, which is just a standard speaker and on it, it has a connector which handily will fit onto the board. Um, so we'll just put it on the bottom, and the bottom pin here is ground that it's connecting to, and the other one it's connecting to is PA9. So, I'll get that in there. So, Esprino has a uh, analog output, which on most pins it has to do via pulse width modulation which is effectively outputting a square wave of a certain frequency and a certain um, ratio of, of up to down. So if we do this now, we should be able to hear it on the speaker. This won't be desperately good for the, uh, the processor plugging it straight into the speaker, but they're quite cheap boards, so it doesn't matter too much. So analog right, A9, which is the pin that the speaker is connected to, um, and 0.5, which means it's half up, half down. You should be able to hear that. Uh, we can make it more, more down than it is up, and it will change the sound a little bit, but not the frequency. We can also add another function in here, which uh, but another bit of data to the function which changes the frequency. And we can also luckily turn it off. So, what I'm going to do is um, try and play a song on it. Now, I looked around and I found this website here, which has uh, children's songs on it, in this format, which is basically um, letters for the notes and capital letters where the note goes higher pitched. Uh, I also found this website uh, where all the frequencies for each note are defined. Um, now these right at the bottom, a frequency of like 16 hertz is quite low for the speaker really, so we'll, we'll skip down a bit and use other ones. So, what I've done is um, I'll define a variable called buzzer, which is actually the pin that the buzzer is connected to, just to make it easy. Um, and I'll define a function as well, which, um, which takes a frequency in, and if that frequency value is naught, it turns it off, otherwise it just sets the frequency up. that turns it off, else we do the analog right. So we should be able to test this. Okay, so that works. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, save one of those songs from that website into a string. Now I've already done this earlier. See here, it's just a variable called tune, which equals all these letters. What they've done on the website is they've put a space where, um, where they just want a gap in the notes. It works out quite well for us. So now um, I'll make another variable called pause which will store where in the tune we are and I'll make this function now I've I'll just paste this in because it, it's a bit of work to copy all the the frequencies out but literally I get the character from the tune at the position um, if the character is undefined then we're actually at the end of the tune so if it's not undefined we can just move on one step um, if the characters space 
or if it's undefined, then we just turn the sound off. Otherwise, for each one of the notes, we play the correct frequency. So if I enter this, and then I run the function, it will play the first sound, and then stop, then again. And if I keep calling it, you can't quite tell what that is because I'm not going fast enough. So let's call it faster automatically using set interval. So now we'll call it 10 times a second to say. Okay, that was actually 100 times a second. So um, you see set interval is returned to naught. So we'll say change interval naught and change it to 100, which is 100 milliseconds, which is a tenth of a second. So if we say pos equals naught, that will take us back to the beginning of the tune. I'm not convinced that's actually the right tune for Barney, but, you know, just grabbed it off the internet. Uh, we can put another one in. Because that tune was actually um, longer than the old one, it just started where the old one finished. So again, we can go back to the beginning and play the whole thing. There you go, and that's annoying music with Esprino. Um, the one final thing we could do is to um, make it so that when you press a button, it automatically plays the music. So if we said set watch, uh, and we set it to the button, and we just call a piece of code that says pos equals naught, hopefully this will work. No. Um, this would be because I've got horribly confused, I think. Right, I put them in the wrong order. So now, if I press the button, be careful not to press the reset button. Obviously if I press it again, it'll just reset it. And it'll do it again, I hope. Which it won't, because set watch by default um, only works once. If we do this, it will do it twice. Thanks for watching. There's some more information on esperino.com. Uh, as well as a load of reference manuals so that you don't make the same stupid mistakes that I have. Thank you.